Oh, what's going on? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. What the f What the f Is there nobody watching? There is nobody watching. This might have been a bad idea. Oh, there is people watching. Hey, hey. Uh, oh. Hello, 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 hello. Sabian, hello. And hello, legend Lewis himself, yes. And the Blu-ray man himself. Is that me that's a sexy man or you? <laughs> I take it the audio is all right on this one because a couple of days ago I was out of sync. Yeah, I wasn't from NSYNC. Nobody wants to hear that. I was just out of sync, but hopefully it's all right now. Hello, the Gold Shredder movies and exploring the world of video games and Blu-rays and Mr. Magpie himself. Show us those white legs. <laughs> Tin and Sonic, not gin and tonic. <laughs> Have you picked up the 4K lenticular of Far From Home from Zavi? I haven't, but... <coughs> this video might be linked to it. I'm just going to explain. I wouldn't normally be doing a live chat like three o'clock on a weekday. I've got subscriber mail to unbox, three lots of it. And I thought, do you know what? In all of my six years on YouTube, well, five or six years, I've never done a live subscriber mail unboxing. And I thought that might be kind of novel so why not give it a go so yeah if you want to hang around for a little while we'll unbox three things that i've got i'll show you what they are now uh, without showing any addresses i've got one of these envelopes i have a big tube <laughs> pardon <laughs> and i also have a massive massive box so uh yeah, if you want to hang around, I'll get a few more people in the room <coughs> and then we'll do an unboxing of some of this stuff. Uh, the review corner. Hello and hello from sunny Wales. It's actually sunny here in Dover as well. Yes, quite warm as well. <laughs> but work. I suppose somebody has to work. Yeah, I'm working the next two days as well. Hello, Jamie. It's the Batman himself. And Dominic. All in sync today. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. I think that's something to do with when I have other people on the stream. I don't know why it happens. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Tony's new uh, movies and more. Hello, matey. Nice of you to join. Uh, Lewis is going to see the Suicide Squad at View later tonight. Brilliant. Hope you enjoy that. Our movies with James. James is here. The Review Corner. I'm going to see X and HMV tomorrow to see if I can pick anything good up. Good luck. What's all with this sexy man? Oh, it's been um, in down in Darlow. Darlow? Where's Darlow? Is that Darlington? Stop calling me darling. Ah, uh, from the chair. Hello, matey. And it was pissing it down yesterday. Yeah, it was weird yesterday. The, the, the weather with me and Carl on the Blu-ray hunt, we were sitting in Costa, like I said on the video. We were just, every time that we had a cup, you know, a sip of our cappuccino or whatever, when we looked up, it was blue sky and sunshine and everybody was wearing shorts and T-shirts. Look down. Look back up again. Everybody was wearing anoraks with umbrellas and it was pissing it down. It was so weird. 
oh no, I'm distracting other people as well. <laughs> Uh, what did you have for dinner today? Oh, nothing yet. I haven't had anything. I, I had to take my car in this morning because it had its um, emergency recall, something to do with the brake pedal sticking. So uh, they've done all that under warranty, so that's all good. And believe it or not, because my dealership is like two miles from my house, and rather than my dad coming to pick me up after I dropped the car off, I used public transport. Yes, I did. Mind you, for the first time, oh God, I, the last time I used a bus as public transport, I was 17. So what's that, 30? 33 years I haven't been on a bus you know a regular town bus and the last time I went on a journey from my house to the town it was 30 pence return and they charged me £2.90 today that's inflation for you yes I'm not going to make a, a habit of it <laughs> uh, Shark Geek hello and uh have you done the Vestron video series? No, I haven't. What's, I don't. What is Vestron? Is that a label? Does the legend reply? Use what? Use code shock. Just checked my subscriber pet count for the first time in four months, and I'm currently at 299. Oh, fantastic. Oh, come on. Somebody go over and subscribe to Lewis. He just needs one more. Hit <laughs> the 300. <laughs> uh, will you be picking up Nobody on 4K when it's released? I certainly will. Absolutely. Yeah, but not the steelbook. The steelbook looks... Yeah. Um, Cruella. Anybody see that little sign that I videoed in Asda the other day? Cruella. Uh, coming out on Blu-ray and DVD next Monday. It didn't mention 4K. Uh, it's still not uploaded on to anything like Amazon or HMV or Zavi. So maybe they'll be doing that Friday. But then when I look to Blu-ray.com, it says it's coming out on Tuesday. I don't know where we are with it. I presume it's Monday, but I don't know. I expect we'll have to wait to the weekend. Uh, have you seen the Fast and Furious? It's so cheesy. It is cheesy with extra top toppings. I have not seen the Turner and Hooch remake. No. Do you know what, Peter? There was um, there's another series. I think it might be on Apple or it might be on Star. There's actually another series with a bloke and who's a cop with a dog. I can't remember the name of it. But that reminded me of Turner and Hooch. Who's going on the Birmingham trip? Lots of us. Uh, I don't know everybody because I think there's like a few being added in or or maybe somebody can't can't uh, can't go. I recently reserved a movie called Two Headed Shark Attack. Jeez, I bet that was eight pounds in, in Tesco's. Oh, they are. <laughs> Lewis has just had hit 300 subscribers. Fantastic. Oh, look, it's Big Paul, he's number one fan. <laughs> uh, your Blu ray hunting series has 9.4 out of 10 on IMDb. <laughs> Jesus, is it? That's higher than Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, the Cop Show with the Dog series. That's it. Hudson and Rex. Yeah, I started to watch that a few episodes. Uh, but there was other stuff to watch. So we never did uh, watch the rest of it. But, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's what I was thinking as well. Mulan was released on Tuesday. So maybe it's a Disney thing. But then why does this big stand up say Monday? It specifically said it's coming out on Monday and it didn't mention 4K. So maybe we're not getting a 4K for it. Be stupid not to do a 4K for it. 
it would be stupid not to do a 4K. Uh, review Corner, hello. Ever since COVID, these DVD releases have been so random, especially with Disney. Yeah. Yeah, this has come out of nowhere, isn't it? It's just all of a sudden, oh, blimey, it's out next week. Uh, CJ Cooper, hello. Thank you very much. Uh, excuse me. Thank you, Mark. Yep. Yeah. The Cop and the Dog Show. Yeah. Copyright. Well, not copyright, but stealing other people's ideas, really, isn't it? Uh, get me to 550. Uh, I'm only... Anybody who hasn't subscribed to uh, Magpie Movies, Geordie Paul, or Music Magpie, whatever you want to call him, Milky Legs. <laughs> Mr. Oasis, please go and subscribe to him. He's 19 away from 550. What am I, a promotion machine? <laughs> Simon Simpson, hello. Uh, really enjoying the DVD charity shop series. Oh, thank you very much, Simon. Paul thinks he's going to be the highlight of Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a highlight, isn't there? I don't know who it is. It's probably going to be Jamie with his absolute wackiness. Aha. When will Muppet Marathon continue? Yes, that definitely needs to do. That definitely does need to continue. I've only got about three to do, I think. Three or four to do. So, yes, we will definitely do that. I know I keep saying we'll definitely do it, and then four months later, we're still waiting for it. But <laughs> we need to do it. <laughs> Paul, get your finger out your ass and actually do some videos. Oh, dear me. I need to do some Poundland bins as well. The bin over there, it's all dusty. Dusty bin. And uh, I can't remember what's in it. Uh, what was my last what flick? I think it was the Deer Hunter. Jesus. Paul, stick your... No, don't stick your finger up your bum. Pull your finger out your bum and do some video. Oh, dearie me. Do you watch The Rookie on Sky? I'm on season two. And have you seen the Canadian series Rookie Blue? Uh, the Rookie, yes. That's with Nathan Fillion as the, uh, as the cop, isn't it? That's a good show. I've only seen, I think, the first two seasons. Uh, Rookie Blue was a fantastic show. That's with, what's her name? Oh, God. Um, she's got a weird name. Uh, dark, long, dark hair. Oh, God. What is her name? Missy. Missy something. Missy Peregrim, isn't it? I think. Yeah, Missy something. I don't know what she's missing. Yeah, that's a really good show as well. Yes. Uh, Pete says his farts are going to be the highlight. Not for Jamie, it's not. <laughs> he's already told me he's taking the gas mask. <laughs> uh, hello, Ben. 9.4. You should look on there and tell us what ratings your other series have. That's a good idea, actually. I knew that some of my videos were on IMDb, but that's nuts. How does it get included? Who uploads it? I don't know how it gets included. Oh, gold. Sorry, Lewis. <laughs> That's YouTube for you. Uh, hi, Dominic. Uh, how many films do you own? Oh, bloody hell. I don't know. <laughs> Too many. Uh, I watched Archive after your recommendation. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a really good film, wasn't it? Very surprising for a low-budget film like that. If Venom Let There Be Carnage isn't rated R, then uh, I'll daily upload for a whole week. Hello, someone sent me a message. Let's have a look at the message. What's all this about? Oh, it's uh, in relation to my DC movies. Those three DC movies, one of them's Batman, Soul of the Dragon, uh, that make the line up of the pitch. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But... <laughs> The DC movies. Uh, I've actually ordered those three now. Amazon. £7.99 each they were. I'm hoping they come with a slipcover. Because uh, if they don't come with a slipcover, I think I might have to send them back. 
because that's the whole purpose of getting all of them lined up and everything. That's it, Missy Peregrine. Yeah, she's in FBI. Talking of FBI, that is actually one of me and Dad's favourite programmes. Does anybody know when it's coming back? Because it's been off the air for God knows how long. It's probably all COVID shit that's stop it and stopping it coming back. Hey, Amanda's here. Hello, matey. It's Jules. Du, 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 du. Yes, it's Jules. Hello, Jules. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Roll on Saturday. I uh, hope you're well. Uh, any more DVD charity shop hunting's planned? Uh, there probably won't be until next week, although I might pop into a few charity shops in Birmingham. I take it Birmingham's got charity shops. Of course they have. They must have. Have you ever seen Taxi Driver? It's one of my favourite films. I have not. The last what flick was Full Metal Jacket? March! That's five months! Sounds about right, isn't it? Jeez. And I know the next one. I know the next one is The Deer Hunter. Unless, well, unless the vote changes. Was it between The Deer Hunter and the Emoji Movie or something? I'm going to need to check it, but oh my God, five months. I've never let it go that long before. Pardon? Play Tendo guy. Hello, matey. Play Nando. <laughs> Season three is out on August 26 on Sky, but don't quote me. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I hope it is. But I suppose we've got a bit of waiting to do. Uh, MJT Royty, are you going Coombe Haven? No, we've actually been this year, so probably won't go back until next year now. Do, do, do. The Cool Doctor is a really... Oh, the Cool Doctor? The Good Doctor is a really great one, yeah. I'm a few seasons behind on that, unfortunately. Phil McCavert is here. <laughs> what age rating would you give your channel? Uh, a soft 15. <laughs> Jamie can have an 18. Uh, hi, Sav. Jules says, of course, we have charity shops. I don't know what it is. When I think of going somewhere new, it's like, are people up there the same as people down here? <laughs> hey, what was that? What was that? statement that person once said about french people um do you think french parents love their children as much as english parents <laughs> it's not you're going to an alien place well it is for me actually yeah <laughs> of course you've got charity shops yeah we'll be digging out some charity shit and hopefully there'll be some blu-rays looking forward to meeting you monday can't wait for our collab oh yes matey at blue water uh, and hopefully we'll find Cruella. Hopefully. Uh, we've got Movie Worm, Jules, and later Magpie Movies on the stream tonight. Would love to have you on sometime in September. Yeah, I'll well, see if I can... Uh, blah, 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 blah. What day would it be? It'll be a, would it be a Tuesday? I'll take it be, it'll be a Tuesday. I, I can probably work with that. I just say to Dad, yeah, watch some shit on the telly. I'm going upstairs to do a, <laughs> a live stream. <laughs> yeah, um, hang on. Baby is is nipper. Uh, will you buy less Blu-ray if there will if they if they will quite with slip covers? You mean if they quit making slip covers? Would I make? Would I buy less Blu-ray? I probably would actually. <laughs> I love my slip covers. Do you think making a sequel to Joker is a good or bad? I don't think it's needed. I don't think it's necessary. The way that Joker ended kind of like leads into the Dark Knight, if you will. You know, this is the stage of the Joker and then the Dark Knight. This is where he is. So you could basically do a continuation. But I really don't think um, another Joker movie is needed. Of course, the studios are going to do one because it made a ton of money. 
Did you hear Kiefer Sutherland's doing another spy action series for Paramount Plus? Oh, okay. He's not coming back as old Jack then. He needs to come back as Jack and they need to do a revamp like they did with Prison Break and, and uh, Heroes. Although it, the, that reboot of Heroes wasn't that successful. Uh, what's your favourite Eddie Murphy film? Um, oh, Golden Child. Uh, probably Coming to America, the original Coming to America. I th yeah, I love him in that. He's fantastic. FBI, FBI Most Wanted have been renewed for new seasons, but two hiatus because Missy was up the duck. Oh, OK. Yeah, that'd be a bit dodgy, wouldn't it? Trying to cover her up and... She'd be constantly wearing baggy black dresses or something, or they'll, they'll sit her behind a table. I'm from the Isle of Wight. Have you been? I have not. Can't believe I'm finally meeting. Oh, Jules, it's just me. <laughs> Probably at the end of the day, you'll be like, oh, I didn't think much of that big Paulie. He's a right obnoxious bastard. <laughs> Apart from Fifty Shades, which film do you dislike the most? Now, I have to say it, um, and I, I don't mean Captain Marvel, Cats. That's the last time I ever want to see Judy Dench's pussy, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, was uh, was me who did IMDb, got bored and just ended up doing it for no idea why. Of course, being my number one fan, of course you're going to do something like that. You're not going to come and stalk me, though, are you? <laughs> uh, definitely saved up 250 quid to spend while Blu-ray hunting. Oh, my God. It's good that you saved it, though, because, you know, it's, it's not like, oh, shit, I ain't got any money to live on for the rest of the month. Any blue, blue fans you want to add to your collection? There are two. Uh, which keep eluding me because they're like nearly into triple figures. Uh, there is the. What is it? Oh, bloody hell, I can't remember it. No, it's the Venom. It's the Venom double lenticular and also the Incredible Hulk double lenticular. Um, unfortunately, we haven't got any new ones. You know, we haven't got any big new ones like any. I mean, I've got The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, but because of the problems Disney China had with contracts and shit like that. We never got a Rise of Skywalker one. Same with Solo. We never got a Solo one. Um, we got a Rogue one, but never got a Solo one. And we never got an Endgame, Avengers Endgame. But I've got an Infinity War, so it's kind of like an incomplete collection at the moment. Linda the Elevator is going to have a good time. <laughs> Watched the Super Mario Brothers film last night and it was awful. Makes the Resident Evil movies look like Citizen Kane. It's been a long time since I've seen the Super Mario Brothers. I know I don't own it, but I do remember it. It's really cheesy and corny. I've just come back from the charity shop. I got 12 DVDs for £4 and one Blu-ray for £3. OK, that's pretty good. I just got Beverly Hills Cop Trilogy set for a quid. Is that the DVD one like I picked up? I think mine was £1.50, wasn't it? Somebody somebody said that I'd already picked up the Blu-ray trilogy. I don't remember picking it up. And I've gone through my shelves three times nearly. And I cannot find it anywhere. So maybe I didn't. Maybe I looked at it, but I didn't. Can't wait to be on Pete's live feed later uh, or play Nando guy. He's never going to get rid of that name there, is he? <laughs> uh, I just looked and 20 titles are on your page. Highest show rated 9.4. What's the lowest? 2.4. What is the lowest? Is that my very first Blu-ray hunt? That was awful. My charity shops are stupidly priced. They want £15 Game of Thrones season one on Diva. That's stupid. They're never going to sell that. Oh, my God. Cool sh shabs. 
There's a great steel book coming out on the 11th of October, which is Friday the 13th Blu-ray. Oh, my God, yeah, have you seen the price, though? It's like 90 quid or so. I'm not that much of a fan of Friday the 13th. In fact, I think I've only seen one film. Don't know which one it is. But, yeah, I'm not going to fork out for that. I think you can get the Blu-ray collection for about 30 quid. Oh, does he really? Callum's Quarter, Corner lives on the Isle of Wight. Oh, that must be, that must be hilarious. Have you ever bumped into him? Uh, Joker 2 is very unnecessary, but I know damn well that everybody, including me, will still watch it, yeah, because we have nothing better to do with our lives and would rather watch it. An unneeded sequel, yeah. We'll still go to the cinema or, or uh, stream it, absolutely. I would never think that you're my king. <laughs> I need to get a crown now. When was I born? Uh, in the 70s. Yeah, I actually saw this the other day as well. Um, I don't know where they could go with it. The only thing I can think of is that it would be focused on Freddy's last days, but that would be depressing. That would be a depressing film. I thought they did a good job with what they did with Bohemian Rhapsody, especially with the um, the, the Wembley, you know, the Live Aid recreation. I really don't think that they should bother. They should leave it. As a, it's, a like, it's like Rocket Man. That is a fantastic film. Uh, you can't really do sequels for those. Well, you can do, I suppose, they're thinking of, but there's no need. Just because it's possible to do a sequel doesn't mean you actually have to do a sequel. <laughs> Kelly Kitchen, uh, did you ever get round to be watching Marvel Black Widow? Yes, I did. And we did a review for it with me, Lulu and Claire. Ah, what music biopic would you like to be seen made? Ah, okay. Um, oh, this is probably very an low bottom choice because they're not musically in at the moment, really. I would like to see a status quo biopic. The Frantic Four about when they first started, you know, the Spectres and the friendship between Rick and uh, Francis and them touring. I would like to see a status quo biopic, I think. Yeah, I think that would be quite fun. I hope there won't be a delay for No Time to Die. There's no reason to delay it, you know, with us all coming out of lockdown and and um, I mean, I went into a restaurant uh, and there's no masks, there's no social distancing. You help yourself to food. It's just like the virus was never around. It's like it never existed. So people are just going about their business as usual. Just bought Irreversible Indicator release. Uh, you got any thoughts on the film? I don't know that film. I like my movies like my pizza. Cheesy. <laughs> right, okay. We've got 63 people in it. I think it's about time we did some some unboxing. Let's do some unboxing, yes, because uh, I have no idea what this is. Right, okay. First of all, I've got... Actually, I do have an inkling, an, an, an inkling of what this one is. Look how thin it is. It's not all about size. Right. This, I believe, this has come from Richard Hollyoak uh, of RH Media. Oh, God, I forgot this. I wrote it down as well. What did I put this? RH Media Designs. That's it. He's got a new Facebook group called RH Media Designs. He designs uh, covers, replacement covers for Blu rays. I've had a few off him in the past including True Lies. Uh, he did an Avengers, uh, the old Avengers, you know, with Ray Fiennes and Uma Thurman. I had one of those. Uh, he did me a boss level. 
Uh, and I recently watched a film called Summer of 1984 or Summer of 84. And that was a German film that was sent to me. So I asked him if he could knock me up a cover. Uh, an English replacement cover. So what can I do with that? I'll stick it down the floor. Let's see that. Uh, many thanks, RH Media. So it's RH uh, Media Designs on Facebook. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I did. I actually did dig the Blu-ray out because I kind of knew sort of that this was going to be in here. So that's the original. So that's the German release. Really nice design. And we've got all the German writing on the back there and everything. And the one that he's knocked me up. That's fantastic. Super gloss. It's put extra bits on it. Every serial killer lives next door to someone. It's put a little logo, you know, a little bit at the top there. That's not on the original. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, okay. So there's the uh, there's the original and there's the new one. It's a lot more vibrant and a lot more black. Uh, I think this is based around an English, because uh, this is slim. So it's just as well I actually dug out and a replacement case. So let's just drop it on the floor. <laughs> let's just put this in here. Oh, does it line up? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So let me just move that to a little bit there. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so there we go. So that is the replacement. <laughs> I got bloody light reflected off it. Fantastic. And then the spines. Uh, the one, this one. This one here is the replacement. As you can see, the black is a lot more vibrant as well. I mean, the red is a lot more vibrant. And the one, this one here, this is the replacement. Yeah, very nice. That's fantastic. So, yes, thank you very much for that, Richard. Uh, so if you need a sleeve, any kind of uh, inlay sleeve done, for any of your foreign ones, or you just don't like the design of a certain sleeve, knock it. I'm talking about knocking everybody up. Knock up Richard, uh, RH Media Designs. Uh, he's got a Facebook group. He also does post sometimes on the Big Paulie page and uh, ask him if you can do a sleeve. Um, I think he does charge a flat fee of like five quid, including shipping for a design. Uh, but I think it does go up to £10 if he has to do one from scratch, you know, design it completely from scratch. So I'm always happy with anything that Richard does. Fantastic. So that is that. Right. So we'll do another one now. I'll do two. Then we'll have a bit more of a chat. And then I'll do another one in a minute. So this one. Oh, Christ almighty. It's, it's weighty as well. It's about a metre long. That's all I can say. And it is heavy. Uh, it was sent by Tracked Post. I don't know how much he paid for it. it must be heavy. Or it must have been uh, quite expensive sending it tracked. Anyway. I have got Bobby Box Cutter. So let's have a go. Try not to chop the fingers off. Uh, any ideas? Anybody know what this could be? Stick it down in the comments. Look at the size. I thought maybe a poster, but it's heavy for a poster. It's heavy for a poster. Um, I don't... I had thought maybe a Negan bat, but... I've looked at the Negan bat that I already have, and it's it's bigger than the package that would allow it in, so I don't know. 
Let's have a look, see if anybody's put any comments. Oh, Alan, a lightsaber. That's a, that's a, mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge one. It is actually, actually, yeah. All right. Okay, so possibly a lightsaber. Right, well, we've got the top open. Let's have a look. Okay. Uh, don't think it's a lightsaber, Alan, uh, unless they start making them out of wood. Does look like a baseball bat to me, do you think? Okay. I don't know if there's a note. This is actually from... This is from Stephen Lee. Uh, now, Stephen in the past has sent me quite a bit of su subscriber mail, including my Scarlett Johansson calendar, my Ray T-shirt. He sent me a Captain Marvel cardboard cutout and also the Ray cardboard cutout as well. So he sent quite a bit. So, yeah, this is looking like a baseball bat. <laughs> um, just my luck for Spider to hit me in the face. I don't think there's a note. No, there's no note. No note. But it's nicely wrapped. Oh, oh. That looks familiar. Jesus. I better not swing this in here. I don't want to knock anything off the shelf. Oh, get off, get off my fingers. <sighs> Good night. <sighs> Pardon me. This is, uh, this is a Harlequin, isn't it? This is a Harlequin bat. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Oh, I know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to actually mount that on the wall right next to my long framed poster of uh, of Margot Robbie. And it's got lots of writing on it all. I don't know what it is because I, I can't read. It's all joined up writing. It's very like italic-y. Italic so I don't know if I'm going to know what that is, but it's got writing all the way across it. Wow. That is... Um, <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow, if I get any zombies coming in here or any stalkers, <laughs> they can have a visit with my bat. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh my God, that is great. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Stephen. That is absolutely awesome. Yes, I need to get some kind of proper mount for that thing because that's quite heavy. So. That's going to need like a proper bracket, bracket, and that can go right next to my framed, my framed picture. Actually, fantastic. Okay, let's see if we can put that there. So that actually goes well with my um, with my bloody up Negan bat. <laughs> you alright, Glenn? How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, that needs to be mounted as well. I need to find some way of mounting that because uh, lack of room. Unfortunately, I've got too, so much stuff on the walls. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can find some place to put it. There's a big gap up there as well. Fantastic. Oh, that is fantastic. Thank you very much, Stephen. We have new comments down the bottom. Uh, looks like one of those old style wooden ornaments. Uh, you can use what's that? You can use <laughs> you can use that to beat anyone who doesn't know what a Blu-ray is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take it when you go to Blu-ray hunting, crappy Poundland. Yeah, take that Poundland. This did sound actually painful, didn't it? Oh, I'm going to mount it. <laughs> uh, let's go up to the uh, some of the 
thing is up here. Uh, where are we? Okay, done that one. Uh, done that one. Right. <coughs> I believe the 2.4 was the colour out of space collaboration. Oh, really? I kind of enjoyed that video. Yeah. Uh, didn't you buy Beverly Hills Cop on iTunes? It's on 4K there, only to get it on 4K. No, I didn't buy the 4K. I didn't buy the 4K in the end. Um, Because I was mulling over buying the actual Blu-ray trilogy. I just don't remember picking it up. I don't know. I don't think I've got it on, on the 4K on the iTunes. I don't remember buying it on the 4K. Guilty pressure. I pre-ordered the Friday the 13th 8 movie steelbook. It's completely sold out. Oh my god. Uh, Lou and Claire are doing really well. Thank you very much, Jules. Yeah, they're doing good at the moment. I'll, I'll say hi to Kermit, even though we already know he's here. <laughs> Uh, how do you store your unwatched movies in your collection? Are they mixed in with your watched collection? Yeah, they're just on the shelves. They're in every little gap that I can find. Yeah, I know which ones that I haven't seen. So if I see something wedged in between a couple of things that I've seen, I'll know that I haven't seen it. I was born in the 70s as well. Just had my 45th birthday a couple of weeks ago. Oh, congratulations. What do you think about Oceans 12? Uh, and do you like to see Oceans 9? What we got? We got 8, haven't we? 8 was the female one. And then we got 11, 12... And 13, I think. Um, they could do... They could do a 9 and a 10, I suppose. Just do completely different. I don't think they need to. They've re revamped Ocean's films too, too many times. Uh, I'd like a massive three-hour-long Beatles biopic. That's a good idea, yeah. What do you think of the Suicide Squad? Um, it was okay. Um, it's good. I did do a review for it, so go and watch the review with me, Lulu and Claire, to get all our our thoughts. Uh, excuse me. One of the things I disliked about Bohemian Rhapsody was that it glossed over and sugar-coated some of the bad stuff that happened in real life. I Yeah, I don't think it was that way aimed, though. Otherwise, they would have had to lift the rating. I think this was primarily a family orientated film focusing on the success of Queen and Freddie Mercury. Yeah, there was some HIV and some AIDS in there, but this was primarily about the band, the friendship, the ups, the lows. And I think they just wanted to keep it candy floss family friendly. Oh, that's a nice term. Candy floss family fen fam family friendly. It's all right if you can say it. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Uh, I'm really glad we picked 16th of August. A spiral is releasing. Definitely picking up the 4K. Uh, buy a pick on George Michael. Yeah, yeah, that's that. That would be a popular one. Uh, didn't they do a David Bowie on it? But but it, apparently it was Pants. Was it called Stardust? I think it was called Stardust. Um, a George Michael one would actually be really interesting because I'd like to see their relationship with him and Andrew Ridgely, and how they transitioned from Wham, you know, over to the solo. I don't think we need a Michael Jackson one. I think they've milked that one. Um. We've had a few Elvis ones, although it's never El there is an Elvis three part movie coming, I believe. I think there's an Elvis biopic coming. 
Uh, Jungle Cruise, I really enjoyed that. It gave me uh, vibes of Pirates of the Caribbean and that sort of thing. Uh, have you seen they just announced Christian Bale as the new Judge Dredd in the upcoming sequel? No. Christian Bale is Judge Dredd. I don't know. I can't see that. I know he's bulked up. He can bulk up, you know, because he's done it in the past. But then again, who would have ever, ever thought that we'd see Carl Urban do it? But he carried it off. That's the kind of thing that, like, John Cena would go for. <laughs> uh, Paulie, I just ordered seven movies online last week, which I haven't seen. American Horror Project, Volume 2, The Edge, The Beast Must Die, The Legacy, Killer Crocodile, and Someone to Watch Over Me. I haven't seen any of them, I don't think. Isn't there, there's two killer crocodiles, isn't there? There's one, I think one and two. I think it came in a double pack. Good old cup of tea and a movie is the best. Uh, see, that was, a, that was a good one as well. From CJ. A ha well, a Harry Potter broomstick. Yeah, it could have been a Nimbus 2000. It's a baseball bat. <laughs> Jesus, Jules, where are you hanging out? <laughs> We're not like that down there. <laughs> uh, are you going to come Birmingham to do a Blu-ray uh, hunt in CS? Yes, uh, Birmingham is going to be a bit of everything, really. Uh, we're going to meet up with the guys. We're going to have like a, I think, a Friday night drink session. Although I won't be drinking any alcohol because I can't drink alcohol with my tablets. So I'll be having a fizzy drink, I should imagine. I'll just pretend to be pissed. That should be difficult. Um, and then Saturday, we're having breakfast. Find somewhere to have breakfast. We're going out, go out to do some Blu-ray hunting. Uh, HMV's The Vault. CEX Charity Shops. Probably Powerland. Powerland's going to be shit everywhere. Um, and then back, I think, back to the hotel. And then I think we've got a gap between like two o'clock, between two and eight. Because I think eight o'clock we're going for dinner. We're all going for dinner at Mr. Millership's restaurant. Um, and we're going to give him a hard time. No, I want my steak cooked this way. Take it back. No, I better not do that. You end up spitting on them, don't they? <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got a couple of hours in between. Some of the guys are thinking of maybe going to the cinema. I think they got an Odeon to watch uh, either Don't Breathe 2 or Free Guy. So might be enough time to fit in a film. And I think uh, Geordie Paul wants to do a, a live stream as well from one of the hotel rooms. I don't know what the staff will think of that. <laughs> What's going on in room two? <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's it. And then maybe we'll get back to the hotel late on Saturday and then just meet up on Sunday morning for like a farewell. And then we'll just bugger off our own ways again. I think that's kind of the plan. But uh, it's going to be interesting, very interesting and fun. Yes, I have that one. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, up a bit, up a bit, up a bit, left a bit. <laughs> yeah, I should have taken it to that Sainsbury's when I got kicked out. Uh, good afternoon, Sophie. Sophie's Retro Revival. What 4Ks are good for picture quality? There's a lot, actually. If you want something to, to show off people, you know, like a demo-worthy stuff, then you're wanting, like, the Revenant, um, Blade Runner 2049, and Avengers, the first Avengers Assemble. They are kicker, uh, ki kicker, killer, killer 4K transfers. 
What rating does the Poundland bin have? I'd, I'd give it a 15. But there's 18 certificate films in there, actually. So, no, maybe a, maybe we better give it an 18. I am nervous about meeting you all. I am now the same age as you. I know. 50. Oh, sorry, Jules. Am I supposed to not say? <laughs> oh, God, we're all getting old, aren't we? Speak for yourself. Yes, I looked up your iTunes collection video. Oh, Beverly Hills copies in there. Okay. Oh, well, maybe it was just, is it just the first one? I don't remember being bothered about the other two. So maybe I just bought the first one because it was like one ninety nine or two ninety nine or something. Uh, when do you think the Suicide Squad will be released on physical media? Uh, when did it come out? Oh yeah. Well, we know it was July, wasn't it? Oh, July, August, September, maybe about October, maybe late September, early October, perhaps. That's what I'm thinking. That is a good question, actually, Dominic. Who would play George Michael in a biopic? That's actually a, a tricky one. Tom Hanks is playing Elvis. Really? That's a bit of unusual casting. Are you sure he's not playing? I think he's playing... What is it? Captain... It's not Captain Tom, is it? <laughs> no, he did the walk. The one that produced Elvis or his manager, Captain... Phillips? <laughs> I can't. He's a captain. A captain of something. I thought Tom Hanks is playing him. I can't see Tom Hanks playing Elvis himself. Uh, Boy George biopic. Uh, is there one, though? Or are you just saying that that's the one that you'd like to see? Because I haven't heard anything about Boy George biopic. That would be an interesting one. Uh, is that a projector above you? It's up here. You're right there. In fact, if I keep going up there, there's the lens cover right there. Uh, do you keep Blu-rays and DVDs in your storage unit or are they all in the movie room? Mostly, like 80% of it is in the movie room here. Uh, I also do have another one of these big, huge cabinets in the other bedroom full up with blu-rays uh the only ones that i've got in the storeroom are the overflows for uh the poundland bin uh which is one of those big huge big plastic tubs so when we get low on the poundland bin i'll bring a load of blu-rays back and just refill it so as you can tell nothing's going down in the <laughs> in the bin <laughs> Uh, what famous star you share your birthday month? Are you most pro? Oh, I don't know. I don't know who shares a birthday with me. Ryan wants to know what time it is. It's four o'clock. Doodly. Does Dover Soul come from your neck of the woods? I believe it does. Yes, I believe we are famous for Dover Soul. Uh, you said you wanted to pick up Cruella on your trip. It's out on the Tuesday the 17th. Yeah, but the stand-up that's in the supermarket says it's out on the 16th. So I don't know. I don't know what day. Blu-ray.com says it's out on the 17th, on the Tuesday. But those cardboard cutouts are clearly printed as out on the Monday the 16th. So I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, seriously, cannot wait for the Birmingham video. Will it be feature length? Uh, I think it will be. It could very well be my longest video ever. 
Uh, I don't know if to do it into two parts or three parts or just one video. It's probably going to end up being something like Big Paulie the movie. <laughs> what was the one that Wet Movie 1 did? He did a kind of like a out and about thing. He even stuck it on Blu-ray and DVD. I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, but uh, yeah, well, I think it'll be a feature length one because not only is it going to be filmed the whole journey, well, most of the journey there. I can't do any video in out of the windows, unfortunately, because I'll be driving all the way to Birmingham. Uh, but I'll be stopping off in a couple of uh, service stations on the way. So I'll get some footage there and talk about any mishaps that I've had on the road. Um, and then I'll be videoing like the hotel when we get there. And I'll do a room tour as well. I'm sure you want a room tour of the of the travel lodge. Uh, and then we'll just go out doing Blu-ray hunting. And I'll be videoing a bit of, a bit of, bit of everything, really. So it's going to definitely be longer than my usual ones uh and i think my longest ones have been about an hour so i think he's going to be longer than that i just don't i can upload it <laughs> you want to upload how long <laughs> what is 50 is like what do they say 50 is it's the new 30 isn't it <laughs> i think they say 50 is the new 30 uh, I am on Letterboxd or Letterboxd. Uh, I haven't uploaded a lot, though. I don't really get time to upload a, a lot of stuff on there. Beverly Hills Cop 2 is one of my favourite films of all time. It's worth a watch. Uh, I have seen it a long time ago. Uh, I really don't remember much about it, so maybe I will have to re-watch that. What's the most underrated movie for you? Personally, for me, and a lot of people don't agree with it, and that's perfectly fine. Um, we all like our things. It's M. Night Shyamalan's Lady in the Water. I absolutely love that film. But, uh, yeah, it, it gets a lot of hate. What? Pelic, pelic, peliculus Todo El Cine. Oh, hello. Colonel Tom. Is it Colonel? It's Colonel Tom, isn't it? Not Captain Tom. And not Captain anything else. It's Colonel. Yes, the Colonel, as they used to call him. Isn't it the Colonel? Isn't that what you get in popcorn? They're called Colonels, aren't they? Oh my God! Where's the comments gone? Bloody Nora! We don't want to skip past too many of these comments. Shawadi Wadi biopic. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, down there. Ooh, okie dokie. Uh, da, 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 da. Da. What film do you really want on 4K that has never been released yet? Uh, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with the same thing. The Abyss. In fact, we really need The Abyss. True Lies. We need a proper Terminator 2 transfer. And Titanic and Avatar. We need all of those in 4K. It's 11.01pm in Australia. Oh, it's almost bedtime. Sophie's Revival shares a birthday with Jack Nicholson. That's pretty good. Uh, have you seen the cheap Blu-rays and DVDs at Tesco? Mostly all permanent titles, yeah. There are a few uh, lower shelf ones. And it is seven, uh, it's 5.02 in the Netherlands. Oh, you're joking. Lou and Claire have got IMDB pages. Oh, I'm, re I'm really going to have to look at that. Let's have a look. What? 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 Don't know what to look under. If I, I can't just type in Lulu. 
Evie Lulu comes up. Maybe I type in Lulu and Claire. Oh, it comes up with Girls Day Out with uh, Lulu, Claire and Pauline. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's have a look at my one then, Big Paulie. Oh my God, there's actually quite a few. 310 episodes. Oh, I see. So there's one for the trip to Hastings, four episodes. There's one for talk movies. Uh, there's a double oh yes baby bond reviews, which there shouldn't be many episodes of them because I haven't put them live yet. Uh, Blu ray hunting one Ooh, on IMDb. YouTuber Paul Bowman goes Blu ray hunting weekly looking for titles to pick up. TV series 2017 cast. Paul Bowman, self. Lulu, self. Claire, self. Jamie Powell, self. Uh, series cast regulars. Papa Bowman. Carlino. <laughs> Tony Marden. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. oh, I've even got baitings. Down the bottom there. Amazing. I really enjoy these weekly videos. I always look forward to them. Write them up Monday evenings. Really good. Informative. Funny. Entertaining. What's not to lie? Eight. Harmless fun. Fun videos to watch on Mondays, especially if you're a film fan. Wow. I've got a couple of good ratings there, actually. Eights and eights and nines and tens. At least I've given it a one. So I'm already better than uh, M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Do -do -do. Uh, I won't be on any of the videos. Oh, you might be, unless you don't want to be. That's that's entirely up to you, Jules. Uh, hopefully, uh, we might go and see that if you've got a spare couple of hours on, on the Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Uh, Black Widow is now on digital. Will you be buying it? Plus, will you be... Well, I'll be buying the physical, yeah. I'll buy the physical. Andrew has passed the driving test. Congratulations. Yeah, now a menace on the road like the rest of us. <laughs> uh, yes, I will be buying uh, Luca because it's Pixel. Uh, I'll be picking up the 4K for Cruella. They haven't even announced a steel book. Someone's going to have a steel book. It'll probably be Zavi. Are you taking a spare suitcase for all the stuff you might pick up from the vault? What about a suitcase? Uh, a small bag, I should imagine. It's not like we have to go through customs or anything. <laughs> or do we have to go through customs? Do we have to go through like a border patrol to get to Birmingham? <laughs> Oh, least favourite Disney film. Oh, my God. Animated? Um, least favourite. I don't know. Least favourite Disney film. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Blown out of the audio. I don't know. Least favourite. I don't know, actually. Favourite movie animal? That's going to be Goose from uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, 
uh, you should experience eye sense with Jen. Yeah, we did do eye sense. Me, Lulu, and Claire did eye sense, but we didn't think that much of it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it was just pretty much the same as our regular cinema. Oh, come on. Seriously? Now, Daisy, back then, Sam. Forgotten World of Movies. Hello, I'm doing brilliantly. Thank you very much. Oh, no, it's Dudley. Dudley's here. Hello, Dudley. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I just knocked over the baseball bat and it went right on my, on my foot. Uh, why do you think Open Range hasn't got a 4K? I don't know. I'm, I, I hope to pick that up at the weekend because my HMV didn't have it. Uh, any charity shop luck? Uh, not today, matey. No, none today. Haven't been there. Blu-ray hunting today. Uh, hopefully you're having a full English. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if we're having it in the hotel or if we're going to go out and find somewhere. I know the hotel, I think, do a full English in their uh, in their restaurant. Don't have a cat anymore, unfortunately. We used to have Bobby and we used to have Mowgli, but unfortunately they've both passed. Bless them. <laughs> Doodly. Right, okay. I think we should do... Should we do the next bit of... Or the last bit of um, subscriber mail? Get some dust off my glasses. Right. Anybody that didn't watch the earlier one, I got a baseball bat. Damn it. Pardon me. Right, okay. Shit, now I really have dropped it. Oh dear. Right. Da -da -da. This is absolutely huge. Apparently, I've been told to be very careful when opening this. Do I have to show my address? <laughs> um jesus 11 pound 15 this cost of shit oh my god please handle with care it says fraggle on it yes <laughs> now this uh, i believe comes from this is from lee eels uh the slippy and slimy fella ah. hang on a minute i've got to put it down oh god oh shit oh there's no room here Jeez, I can't reach it. Uh, hang on, there it is. Right, Lee sent me on one of his last subscriber mails. He sent me the lenticular of Spider Man Homecoming. So I wonder what could be in this little package. Oh, uh, Mrs. Right, Bobby Box Cutter, where are you? Okie dokie, here's Bobby Box Cutter. Here is the box. I've still got all my fingers. Let's go. Oh, I love that sound. Trust, I missed it. <laughs> I missed the bloody gap. <laughs> okay. Is that, have I actually cut into that or not? Yes, I have. Okay. Trust, where's the end of it? Right. I think it's actually on the side. Oh, God. There I am cutting into the top bit, and it's actually on the side. What a twat. Okay, so that's the two bits there. And now we need to undo that bit. Uh, where's the best place to cut that? Oh, cross I nearly poked myself in the stomach with Bobby Box Farm. There it is. It is. There it is. Right, okay. Let's put Bobby Box Cutter down before we do some serious damage. Okay. Oh, God, look at all that bubble wrap in this. Oh, my flipping Nora. I don't know who Nora is. I've got a note, as Jamie says, Zinort. 
the naught. Big P. Yeah, I'll be adding one of them in a minute. Ba -ba 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 what is it? Yes, it's from Lee. Lee Eels. Thank you very much, Lee. Uh, please find enclosed uh, what I promised you. I have also included a few more for you. The others you can keep or decide to give away if you shut up, seagulls. If you don't want to keep them yourself, maybe other friends or fellow YouTubers. Keep up the great work, mate, and maybe I will visit Kent another time and pop by and say hello. All the best for a cup of tea. Lovely cup of tea. That's from Lee. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? Sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We have bubble wrap. <laughs> what the? We have a bit of polish stuff. Actually, we got quite. Wow, he's really packed this well. We have more bubble wrap. Oh, at least I've got some bubble wrap now. We have more bubble wrap. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to take these out separately. Oh my god. And then we have all that shit. Polystyrene. Right, okay. Let's put that down there. It's going to take ages to clean this mess up. It looks like four steel books. Okie dokie. Right, okay. I can kind of see an image of maybe one. I don't know what it is though. Okay, right. Should we undo this one? Oh, dearie me. Okay, so let's undo. I don't really want to use a bobby box cut on a steel book. No, that's not a good idea, Paul. Um, can I get this? Or maybe just on the end bit there, just to make a little hole. Okay. <laughs> That's all I managed to tear off. Okay, right. Is that right in my ear? Okay. What have we got? Uh, right, that's that bit. Okie dokie. And then we want to undo that bit. Now, where do I undo that bit? It's like NASA. It's rocket science. Actually, if I cut that bit there, that's good. So you're getting a tutorial on how to open steel books. Oh, this bubble wrap's very sticky. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. God, holy shit, dicks. That is flipping Nora. That is freaking awesome. Far from, yeah, this is far from home. He did actually mention this to go with the homecoming. 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Look how much depth there is in that. That is amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> <laughs> Lee. <laughs> I said all that to you and you can't even remember my bloody name. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. So that's, oh my god, that's one... It, there's there's better stuff than that. Okay. Number two. <laughs> you have to have one of them in a minute. No. <laughs> Phil. Uh, oh, this one might actually... Can I slide? No, I can't slide that one out. Oh, this one's easier. Much easier, though. 
Okay, I can kind of see something familiar. There is so much crap on the floor. Oh, for the love of mother. Okay, I'm going to have to start now. I'm going to have to start on these. I didn't think I was going to actually start buying these. And I didn't, but now that I've got a couple here, I might just have to. <laughs> X-Men Days of Future Past. 4K Steelbook lenticular oh my god look at these lenticulars these are insane these are le these are flipping good lenticulars for zavi holy shit oh my god that is amazing that's fantastic <clears throat> i love that that these lenticulars are amazing Right, okay. Oh, I know, Jane. Right then. <laughs> uh, steelbook number three. I haven't actually come across anything yet that I want to give away. <laughs> oh, well, um, I think we've got something very similar. Oh, wow. X-Men. Holy crap. That is fantastic. These X-Men still books are actually nicer than I thought they would be. So I didn't know whether or not I wanted to go down the route of actually buying them, you know, because we have so many different X-Men collections. But these still books are actually looking really nice with these lenticulars. Oh, and the spines. Those spines are going to look awesome. Fantastic. Brilliant. OK, uh, let's have a look. Let's see what else we got. We've got one more. I can't believe this, Lee. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Not lenticular uh but still in the same universe x-men dark phoenix this was an okay film this wasn't one of the best x-men movies in any way but sansa but it's still a really nice still book really nice still book oh my god that is absolutely fantastic you are too kindly, too kind. So we have X-Men, Days of Future Past, Lenticular Steelbook. We have the X-Men, Lenticular Steelbook. We have the Spider-Man, Far From Home, Lenticular Steelbook with an, oh my God, Lenticular. And we have X-Men Dark Phoenix. Wow. That's incredible. Thank you again, Lee. Thank you, everybody that sent the uh, subscriber mail in. So uh, thank you, Richard, as well, for your sleeve. And uh, also Stephen, as well, for the, uh, the baseball bat that's even dropped on the floor. <laughs> I'll pick it up when I get up. I can't, I can't be asked at the moment. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Wow, that is incredible. Um, let's get back to some of the uh, some of the writing. Some of the writing. Uh, 
Um, what shops are you most excited to visit at Birmingham? Mainly the vault, this massive, insane HMV. Uh, Jamie's told me it is absolutely incredible, the actual size of it. You know, it's like Tesco's. So uh, I'm really looking forward. And I don't know if they've still got them, but from the videos that I showed when he went to Birmingham, they have these massive life-size moulds of like Wonder Woman and Marvel characters and Star Wars characters spread throughout. So it'd be nice to get some video of of uh, some of those characters, hopefully. So yeah, that and um, any CEX shops. Uh, obviously, we're not excited about Powerland, really. Uh, I'm not really that up on Primark. I know it's a really big Primark, but I might pop in there as I'm there, and it's supposed to be the biggest Primark in Europe. What's it, on six floors or something? So I might just pop in there to look at, like, anything to do with Harry Potter or movie-related pop vinyl figures, that sort of thing. Uh, have you ever watched South Park Bigger, Longer, Uncut? Yes, I did watch that. And I went to the cinema to see that with Lulu. And we could not believe what we were hearing <laughs> with that opening song. Or a lot of the songs, actually. And I remember Mel B. I think it's Mel B from the Spice Girls that took like a five or six year old kids to go and see it. And they turned them away. They said they couldn't come in. Too right, really. <laughs> uh, did you give your dad some of the HMV chocolate? I've actually still got it here. It hasn't been opened. I completely forgot all about it last night. So uh, I shall be going down and uh, splitting that with him a little bit later on. Uh, we can have some chocolate while we watch, uh, I don't know, the six o'clock news or something. <laughs> How exciting. Uh, I really hope when Spider-Man No Way Home finally releases and he's got a great cinema box office, I wonder if we will get a lenticular steelbook of it. Can you imagine how awesome the cover artwork will be? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I hope they continue. I think even if they release a basic one, I think maybe there'll be a lenticular eventually. Uh, there's always going to be something re-released from Zavi. <laughs> Hello, Jason. Uh, Big Paulie, my favourite YouTuber. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> la, la, la. Oh, uh, Pelliculus Todo. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, now, that is a good question, actually. What day will the Birmingham vid be up? Um, because we've also got Blu-ray hunting on the Monday. At Blue Water with Slayer uh, Reviews, Avanda. <sighs> Gonna try and vlog the day and edit it, get as much editing done each day before bed. So hopefully by the end of Sunday, because I'll be leaving the hotel, got to check out by midday on Sunday. Hopefully by the time I get home, the video will be pretty much done uh, with all the editing and I can just upload it at the end of Sunday. That's what I'm hoping. Ready Player Movies, hello. Oh, yes. Oh, you're back again. Blu-ray DVD home. Yes. What ends in the of a tree house? Okay. <laughs> right then. Talking of what you was talking about, Jules, about not knowing what people are going to be like. I was like that. I was like that when I uh, first met Jamie. Because you always wonder. You know, they always say, don't, <laughs> don't meet your idols. <laughs> bone idol don't meet people that you look up to or famous people well, 
famous, are we? We're not famous. Um, because you'll be disappointed. But Jamie is Jamie. Jamie is the same Jamie in flesh that Jamie is on video. Uh, the same with Carl as well. Carl in the 09. Nothing changes. Everybody that we watch on YouTube, it's just them being them. It's just them being them. So, yeah, that's great. Me, on the other hand, I mean, I've got a butler, you know, they cooks my dinner. And um, when I, when we finish the the, um, the live stream, I'll go back to my real voice, yes. And um, we can get rid of you peasants. <laughs> oh, dear. Can you show us your Xena collection? That sounds rude. I actually don't have a Xena, a Xena collection. Uh, I would show you X-Men. Well, I can show you two of them. <laughs> well, three of them, rather. I don't know, is it? Primark's got a restaurant? Maybe. Sing it's time for the shit that we bought. Oh, no. That's Jamie's. That's Jamie's ballpark. The biggest Star Wars fan. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, we're at the bottom of the comments. So I don't know if anybody else has any other comments. I haven't got any more mail to unbox. Uh, unless you want me to do anything. <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> um, what have I got? Have I got anything to unbox? Uh, no, I can't unbox that. I was going to do a special video with that one. Yeah. Have a look, see if there's any more comments. I am more nervous to meet you two as I look up to you. Oh, Jules. Are you only three foot? <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, God. What? What's this? You should do another movie bid like last year due to COVID. Another movie? What do you mean another movie bid? Oh, bit of bubble wrap just fell on my foot. Can you show it again? Because I missed it. Sorry, the mental health team have been on the phone, so I missed it. Uh, just play the video back afterwards. You can get the whole thing because I did some mail earlier on as well. So there's three lots of subscriber mail where you could just watch through at your own pace. I am still hoping to meet Jamie and Katie. Oh, yeah. The one where you picked up which movies should go to the cinema or streaming. Uh, just got in from a small charity shop haul after offloading 200 DVDs. Time for me to record a monthly roundup. Why not? <laughs> Only three foot two. I actually don't have a lot of media books, no. Uh, I've got Mission to Mars, the German one. And I've got kind of media books. They're the... Um... Oh, dear me. Oh, can I reach it without getting my big ass off the chair? Oh, yes, I can. I've got the, the Dark Knight 4Ks. Uh, they're kind of like media books. They come with the discs and they come with all the glossy pictures and all that kind of stuff so they're kind of kind of ish i think i got them from sainsbury's they were like two for 15 quid those four k's uh can you do more discussion videos like the physical media helping in corona vid last year I think they're really good videos. What do you mean by discussion videos? What, like talking about what's coming out or? 
was it like when I was explaining why I like certain films? I can't remember. I so many videos. I've got so many videos. I can't keep up. Have you seen the new slip covers with the 80s collections? Uh, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, I probably won't be picking them up. There's only so many you can pick up. My local one below is closing down. Oh, no. Uh, when you meet me on Monday, beware, I'm six foot. Oh, holy shit. I think I'm about 5'10". Oh, but I've got girth. <laughs> That's the funny thing. If you watch that video of me and Carl when we, when we were at Canterbury yesterday, I know you didn't get the full picture of him in his height. But oh God, the first the moment when I bumped into him, when I first met him, I swear it's like little and large. <laughs> oh, he's so, I wouldn't say he's tiny, but um, he's small. <laughs> but he's a lovely chap. AK Movies, hello. Do you have any behind the scenes movie books? No. I didn't pick any of those up. Uh, I know Movie Bug picked up a lot of the Star Wars ones. And the Marvel ones. But no, I didn't pick any of those up. Uh, Favourite foreign film? Um, probably two. Um, Parasite is the obvious one. I think the... Um, oh, Christ almighty. I've forgotten the name of it. The, uh, the zombie one. Uh, the Korean zombie film. Why can't I remember the name of that bloody film? The, uh, what I consider the best zombie film ever made. Oh, Jules is off. Thank you very much, Jules. I'll see you at the weekend. That's... <laughs> You should prank call Jamie. I don't know if he's working, though. He might be working. Oh, it's Alex. Hello, Alex. Greetings, fellow. Oh, my God. He sent one pound seventy nine. Oh, thank you very much, Alex. Uh, that means. Come on. Where are you? I haven't done it in a while. You're here somewhere. <laughs> oh, Paul, you've lost it. There it is. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -bang! Super chat. <laughs> How are we doing? Everything all right? Uh, I just got Space Jam and Snatch 4K for 25. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, excuse me. I would have picked up Snatch, I think, uh, 4K, but I really wanted it with a slip cover. Yeah. Catherine Zeta Jonas to play Morticia in the new Adams Family live action film. Yeah, uh, she's not weird enough, really, is she? She does not weird enough to play that to play that role. So interesting. Louis Guzman, he's isn't he been cast as well? I think Louis Guzman's been cast. Haven't seen Old Boy yet. No. Uh, would you like to be an extra in a film? Wouldn't say no. Might be interesting. I could have been an extra in Into the Woods because that was filmed in Dover Castle and the surrounding areas because uh, uh, Chris Pine was there. Train to Busan, that's the one. I don't know why I forgot that name. I'm looking forward to you coming to my home. Bruh, is that your hometown is Bruh? Brum, Birmingham. Oh, I didn't know that. We, we, the invasion is coming, mate. The invasion is coming. You might as well lock your doors. <laughs> what was it thing he said? What was it? Was it Rodney in uh, Only Fools and Horses when they went to Margate? Look out, Margate, and lock up your daughters. <laughs> All right, Alan. <laughs> 
my game store closed down in town, I think, of COVID. It's a shame. These stores, not around. And Disney store was closed down because of COVID. Yeah. Oh, dear me. Uh, the proposed Disney store closures, uh, I even asked a Disney store employee at Blue Water if uh, he could confirm. And he said, I cannot say a thing. Which really probably means, yeah, it's going to be closing. I really can't imagine that Disney store at Blue Water closing. It's been there for so long and so many people like using it, especially at Christmas. But if that goes, oh dear me. It's going to be a shame. Can you dance? Nah. Not really. Mummy Osborne, hello. Movie database, so is it hanging, bowling? Bit to the left. What's the next thing <laughs> you're going to see? Um, as I was saying earlier, maybe Free Guy, maybe on Saturday afternoon, if we've got time. Um, or Don't Breathe Too. I want to see both of those. I have seen Antebellum, yes. Uh, it was okay. It went a completely different route than I thought it was going to. The, the thing is, don't, I know it's probably too late for a lot of people, don't ever watch the trailer for Antebellum because it spoils it. If you go in blind, then three minutes into the film, you're like, what the hell's going on? What the hell are they? That's the kind of reaction. That's what I did. Hang on a minute. You, what have you got? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just okay. I would have preferred the actual film entirely being set in the first half hour. That kind of look to it. So it'd be kind of like a colour purple type of film of uh, 12 Years a Slave. Uh, it is what it is, uh, but it was interesting. It was an interesting film. Hello, Clint. Uh, I have a Chevrolet Trax. It's all actually one of these eco cars, so uh, I can probably go about three hundred from ten pound of diesel, and my tax thirty. Uh, hello, Paulie. It's oh, it's um, Vanda's mum. Kindly meet your Monday. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh that's so kind, Mummy Osborne. Mummy Osborne. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to that on on Monday. That'd be so cool. Plus, um, it's a good HMV in Blue Water as well. He's going to be totally lost in there. But he's not going to have any property money. <laughs> it's quite a big one. And uh, lots and lots of stuff in there. So, yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. And that'd be a nice little to like, get out of, out of your, your normal area. And uh, there's some fabulous places in, in Blue Water to go to. Uh, and they've even got a nice IMAX as well. So uh, if you want to go to the cinema, you guys want a cinema, they've got an IMAX. Yes, I will be getting it. Probably the full. Uh, still book, I don't know. I haven't really been picking up any. So I'll probably just get the standard 4K for that one. I would imagine that pre-orders are going live maybe Friday, maybe Friday or Saturday. But uh, it's still debatable whether or not it's coming out Monday or Tuesday. Uh, because the cardboard cut out in Asda and Monday. Whereas Blu-ray.com says Tuesday, so we still really don't know for sure what day they're releasing it on. Uh, Rumours going around that some CEX stores are closing down. My local is on the list. Oh, shit. Is it because maybe areas maybe they don't have as much business in in? Uh, 
Pardon me. Favourite Suicide Squad character? Uh, now, many people say King Shark, who was a really good character. Um, and I, I, I don't even believe that I'm actually going to say this. I like John Cena was brilliant. I thought he's the way he portrayed it. This is the type of character that he should be doing. Um, I mean, I watched Fast 9 again last night. It was a little bit more enjoyable this time round. If you just ignore all the science and just look at it through focus. But yeah, I didn't really like John Cena's performance in Fast 9. It was just flat and miserable. But yeah, he really, you could tell he was having fun with Suicide Squad. So I'm really happy that he's come back to the TV series. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, he's my favourite character. Um, character that I thought was going to be my favourite. Really didn't last that long. <laughs> Who would you like to see as the new James Bond? Oh, God. Oh. No, not God. Um, personally, I think probably the um, Richard. Richard, Richard Madden. I think it's Richard Madden. He was in the TV series The Bodyguard. I think it's Richard Madden. He was also in Rocket Man. He was Elton John's lover that turned nasty on him. I think he'd be a good Bond. Do, do, do. Uh, yes, I did enjoy the first Sonic, actually. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to the second one. I have seen the trailer for Cry Macho. Yeah, uh, it's surprising that he's still not only acting, but directing the film. At nine, what is it, 91 or 92? Um, you can definitely tell he's of his age. But I was thinking on the trailer, he does kind of look de-aged a bit. It looks like they maybe softened his features up, less wrinkles. So he looks kind of like 70 or maybe 70 instead of 90. But uh, I'm glad that he's still doing films. And it does look like it's going to be a good one as well. What internet provider do you have? I have BT. I have BT. Inf I used to call it Infinity. I think it's probably called Sanging Out by now. Oh, gosh, my mummy's in the chat. Help. <laughs> Does your mum know how much that you've saved up? <laughs> I hope CEX stays open because I do hunt in for movies in CEX. Let's hope it does not. Uh, the main stores are for physical media. Is CEX and HMV because supermarkets are less inefficient. Yeah, supermarkets have literally gone down the toilet now. Uh, we can't rely on Poundland anymore. Uh, and if CEX does go, which I can't ever see CEX going, maybe some of the less successful stores in a various areas may close down or may shrink their size. But they do so much huge business, not just, you know, for media, you know, with they do with the games, but the electricals, you know, the games, consoles, uh, cameras, phones. So uh, I, I can't see them going completely. So I think they'll always be there. Um, but other than that, it's it's HMV, isn't it? I hope HMV stay around for a while. Uh, am I going to change the posters? Well, those they're actually DVDs, so I think it's probably time to change those DVDs because they've been there for quite a while. Are you going to pick up the Black Widow poster? I like the Black Widow poster, uh, especially it's the one that Tony's got in America um, with Scarlet in just like black and white. Um, if I could find a smaller one, one that will go in this kind of size frame here, because I really haven't got the room in here to put a full size, a full size poster. 
Sonic the Hedgehog was brilliant. Definitely excited for the second movie. Can't wait to see what the steelbook looks like. Like the first Sonic the Hedgehog 4K steelbook is quite expensive now. Yes, yeah, steelbooks. Steelbooks and their prices, eh? <laughs> What are your other passions apart from films? Um, do I have any other passions other than films? I don't really. It's film, it's cinema, movies, TV. I'm not really into sport of any kind. Um... Maybe a little bit of sightseeing, but other than that, it's films. Uh, they're releasing, and now that's what I call HMV album next month. I bet that'll be like a limited edition, so that might be worth picking up as part of their 100th anniversary. My wallet is going to pass away on Monday. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about the Mortal Kombat film? Uh, yeah, I, it's actually pretty good in 4K. Uh, I like the film as it is. Uh, I'd never seen the original films, but I came in the, the new film blind, but I really enjoyed it. And the picture quality is really good as well. Uh, we'll definitely get a lot of footage in Blue War and a lot of great Blue Ray hunting members. Yeah. I wish CEX though. There's a CEX in Lakeside, which is kind of like the other side of, I think it's the other side of the Dartford Tunnel. I can't be sure I've been there myself. Uh, yes, Captain uh, Umbrella Academy. Uh, I'm on episode four. So I still see some more episodes. I'm kind of watching two things at the moment i am watching uh the youth office which i've started to get into which i'm about to start season three and i'm watching black i'm um, black summer i am flipping enjoying black summer that's like a crap walking dead moment i just love how they do storytelling that and how they go from certain moments and certain characters so i'm really in that I need to catch up on my Cobra Kai because I've only seen the first series. Uh, looking forward to the June film, definitely. Uh, I have got pre order in 4, 4K. Um, the one with the worm. You know, it's yellowy couple with the, with the worm. So I've got a pre order one. So yeah, look forward to that. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, I think we'll end it there. Thank you, everyone, for popping along in your spare time or in your work time. Uh, I do only have 13% battery left on my iPad, so I don't want to strain it too much. Because <laughs> we'll just start getting into something exciting or something, you know, talking about something. And then, oh, my God, we've got no battery left. And we don't want that. Yes, so thank you, everybody, for popping along. I hope you all have. A, a great rest of the week and weekend uh there will be some great videos coming over the weekend uh i think probably it's going to get bombarded uh because if you watch a lot of our videos a lot of everyone's videos jamie me um geordie paul everybody well, most people then I think there's going to be quite a few videos coming up over the weekend and Monday with the uh, the big Birmingham invasion. So uh, <laughs> I keep calling it the Birmingham invasion. I've got to stick with that now. So I think that will be uh, really interesting. But uh, yes, see you again. There will be another a live stream coming up. Um, my next live stream will probably be a week, probably a week Sunday. There should be a live stream this coming Saturday, though, uh, and it will be with all of the Blu-ray, all of the Blu-ray people, all the blue tubers in one video. I don't know where they're going to fit us all in the same frame. I might be at the back <laughs> with my head poking over the top, but I think that will be a fun, a fun uh, live stream. 
uh, I just hope the Wi-Fi is good enough at the hotel. But uh, yeah, until next video, thanks everyone, and uh, I'll see you on a